Donovan is in charge at Millennium Creations and he likes to issue commands to everybody. Okay, so he's the more dominant between Turkey and himself. And you'll notice that Durki is a lot softer. He's a lot kinder. He does give Lean a job, constantly reassures her as well. Uh, and Durki stays in the same apartment block. Look, it's not that Donovan is rude or anything. He's just a little bit more assertive in what he wants. So Mary Morning Glory, what a crazy name, does the morning shift. While well, Sue Ellen is on maternity leave, she's pregnant, says Swanger. And Durki, the other hairdresser, is a pretty good listener, but Donovan likes gossiping with the clientele. So, yeah, Donovan, assertive, also likes to gossip as well. So, some skinner here. And Durki is repeatedly annoyed by Donovan because, you know, Donovan, he's uh, more of the aggressor. Lena's is responsible for the telephone, that's one, the appointments, two, the kitchen, so just tidying everything up, beverages to the clients like Coke, tea, coffee, and the overall neatness. So that's one, two, three, four, five responsibilities that she has at Millennium Creations. And she reorganizes the kitchen and feels at home. Donovan praises her, but warns her that her appointment might be temporary when, you know, Sue Ellen has a baby, takes some time off on maternity leave, and comes back. So Lynn wants to give her free haircut to her brother, save a bit of money, but Durki says, hey, look, both of you guys may have a free cut. So Durki is a, a very kind guy. And the two hairdressers plan Lynn's new hairstyle. So Lynn accompanies Tani Betts to her way less meeting. So yeah, maybe Tani Betts is a bit on the bigger side. And later at the mall, she notices a woman begging for money. Okay. So way less is like Weight Watchers. And now we get a very important part. I'm just going to highlight all of this, guys. So now the seed has been planted and foreshadows Lean's own tenure out on the streets. And uh, this meaning of life, age-old question, begins to intrigue Lean, and she has a brainwave. And she should ask the Salon to sponsor Brahm's cricket team, so a Borg, a nice sponsor here. And Brahm could use some of the commission to buy a new pair of jeans, and Lean also hopes that this will encourage Brahm to have a haircut. It's the home movie. Just a little boy playing with his dogs. 